They're being dubbed Frankenfish, genetically modified salmon that could land on dinner tables nationwide in as soon as two years. That is, if the FDA says yes. Two, di two different issues. Growth hormone. The agency is on Capitol Hill for two days of hearings, along with Massachusetts-based Aqua Bounty, the company behind the fish. The fish in the foreground is approximately 200 grams. The fish in the background is nearly a kilo. The genetically modified salmon grow twice as fast as their natural counterparts, or sisters, as they're called in the industry. The fish still need a seal of approval from the FDA, but the agency already says they're safe to eat. Critics disagree, saying more research needs to be done. We don't see how the FDA can assure that there's no harm based on four studies, three of which were conducted by the industry. Critics also say the modified salmon could wipe out the wild salmon population, which is already endangered. And they say genetically engineered, or GE fish, could cause allergies in humans. The FDA's own analysis shows that the nutritional content, for instance, for B6 is different in this GE salmon, and it should be labeled. Aqua Bounty says precautions are in place. Almost all of the GE fish would be bred female and sterile. They would also be confined in pools and likely never swim alongside wild salmon. The food is safe and the food has significant benefits associated with it, both from a health standpoint for humans and an environmental standpoint for production. The potential profits for GE salmon are huge, but consumer appetites may not be. I wouldn't approve of that. I wouldn't like it. That don't sound that, that, right. That sound good. Approval of the salmon would open the door for other GE animals. Already in the works is an environmentally friendly pig in Canada and cattle resistant to mad cow disease. Mm -hmm. Ross Simpson, The Associated Press.